Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to start the refurb process on this Onan BF series engine. Uh, if you saw before, I pulled this out of my Bolin's QT16 tractor. If, you, if this is your first time here, let me give you a 15 second overview of what this channel is about. Last time on Tractor Hoarders. Please don't fall off. Let's go ahead and get this thing tore down. I'm not going to do a lot of talking. We're just going to keep it straight to the point and get this thing done. If you find yourself with questions, just leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. If anyone knows where I can have one of these mufflers custom made, let me know. On both sides here, these threads are pretty much trashed. Just from all the vibration over the years. Uh, even before I took those out, they were really loose in there. so. It'd be interesting to see if I can get them to fit halfway decent again. I am curious to see what the uh, cylinders look like. Eh, I could have imagined worse. Kind of carbony, a little bit oily. This side's always been a little oily. The thing about these kind of videos is some people draw them out to be like an hour long. It doesn't have to be that way. I'm going to make this one straight to the point. Like this video, leave me a comment. Thanks. What the deuce? Holy crap. Didn't really expect a whole lot of water to come out of the cylinder of an air-cooled engine. Sure enough, it did. Doesn't look to me like it's been in there that long. I'm not too worried about it. primary thing on here that I know that I need to do is get this carburetor rebuilt. I do have a rebuild kit for this thing. After it's soaked in carb cleaner and we get the whole body cleaned out, then we'll rebuild the thing. Would you look at this? Some mice have been chewing on my ignition wires too. There's something else to replace. Well, I decided I had to take the cradle off the engine so I could take the engine trout off. I'm starting to remember some things. I'm going to release the engine mounts up at the top, four points, and we'll pull the whole cradle out. And here's the engine with all the shrouds removed. Feel free to call me an idiot in the comments. I didn't directly blow anything into the cylinders, on, at least on purpose. High temp grill paint. That is not the uh, end finish. I just want to get that on there. I might actually do a black gloss. We'll see. Now this is some kind of a soft wire wheel. That looks so much better. So when you see carbon build up like that, what does that make you think is going on in this engine? Let me know. I'm not an expert. I just take things apart and fix them. I'm sure anyone that rebuilds engines for a living would say this is a horrible thing to do. This is good enough for me. It's going to be fine. Now here I'm starting to clean the carbon off the heads. I'm just putting a light coat of oil on everything. After I washed it, you saw I put on WD-40. Uh, hopefully this is just a little better.
Now, if you're doing the same kind of thing, I thought I'd let you know the top three head bolts are longer than the rest. So the timeline of this engine refurbishment is actually over the span of several weeks. Um, I took the carburetor apart, soaked it in a gallon of carburetor cleaner for a week, and now we're here uh, probably a week later, and I'm going to take the parts out and get them laid out, dried out, cleaned off, and then we'll start the rebuild of the carb. So my intention with this video was to show you the process on how to rebuild an Onan carburetor. But actually, as it turned out, the kit that I bought wasn't that great. It was like a Chinese kit that I got off of eBay, and it turned out that not all of the components fit. Uh, the gaskets were fine, and the pieces for the fuel pump were fine, but the actual valve seats and stuff like that didn't fit at all. If I would have shown you the video in real time and the details of how to rebuild the carburetor, what this video would have shown you is how not to do it. Um, I'm actually going to provide a link to the kit that I purchased so that maybe you can be cautious with that and stay away from the one that I got. I did get it together, but it took a lot of trial and error. One accurate reminder that I can give you though is that when you do uh, reinstall the carburetor, attach it to the manifold before you attach the manifold to the rest of the engine. You'll want to use new gaskets when you attach the manifold. I've already done that, and now we're going to try and give this thing the first start. To do a test start, you need to give the coil 12 volts, and obviously you're going to give the starter 12 volts. Aside from that, put fuel to the carburetor and it should pop off. Now remember, I don't have the muffler on this thing, so I put on some ear protection. The reason why this thing won't stay running is because the throttle cable's not on it. Turns out it just didn't have enough throttle. I'm just going to make some minor carb adjustments to this thing, and we'll get it smoothed out and running good. If you're familiar with Onans, I'm sure you're hearing that distinct Onan sound. I like it. Now if you'll recall earlier in the video, we identified that the threads for the exhaust in this thing are pretty much trash. So I'm going to have to do something creative with that and that's going to be in the next video. I've got parts on order.